Hey guys, this is Srini and you're watching Python tutorial videos on my YouTube channel Python for Microscope S. In uh, the previous tutorial, I introduced the concept of uh, dockers and in fact this tutorial is a continuation of the previous one. And uh, in today's tutorial, I'm going to talk about uh, Docker file, Docker image, and Docker container. The three terms that you have to be familiar with if you really want to understand Docker's and if you really want to use uh, uh, or containerize your code uh, using Docker's. Now, uh, as usual, let me use a, a graphic to introduce these terms to you. So let me get my video out of this screen so you have more room to, uh, uh, you know, look at. So let's start by understanding Docker file because that's where everything begins. Okay, everything starts with the Docker file, and it is the source code of the image uh, itself. So, and and Docker file is nothing but a text file with a bunch of lines, and I think I have something uh, open here. So here is an example Docker file. Okay, and it always starts with uh, from instruction. And this from instruction, it specifies the base image from which you are building. In this example, it's Python 3, okay? So it says that, okay, I wanna use Python 3 as the base image. On top of that, I wanna build additional stuff. And these are uh, literally a few lines of uh, code that uh, contain the instructions on what to do to this base uh, image. And taking that uh, instructions, now we can build an image. Okay, so, and it literally says build uh, because the command that you type in, in your command prompt would be docker space build space blah 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 whatever the file name is and so on. Okay, so the docker build command builds this image and now if you remember the first line says python 3, what if I don't have it on my local repository? It actually by default looks at the repository uh, in the cloud or wherever it is, you know, and pulls it. It pulls that Docker uh, repository, I mean, this image from the registry. Now, one good place where you can actually search for existing registries is hub.docker.com. So let me switch to my browser. So if you actually go to hub.docker.com, here you can actually search for, uh, Python is very common. Let's actually search for image J and see uh, if there are any images that are already uh, you know, uh, uh, pre-built. So there are a whole bunch of these, you know. Uh, in fact, it says 19 results. So bio containers slash image J, uh, you can click on this to get more information. So by the way, you can, so the first line can be this, to pull this image, okay? So the first line is basically, uh, what is the base image, okay? Uh, just out of curiosity, I just wanna check Fiji because uh, I'm surprised there are only a few of these image Js. Uh, Fiji, Again, there are about uh, 43 results for Fiji, which is, again, nothing but image J, right? So this is uh, uh, one of the core ones that I've used a couple of times. Okay, so now going back, uh, you can pull, by the way, you can also push if you have something, you build something cool, you know, uh, 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 you know, a great image that can benefit others. You can go ahead and push it to the Docker registry. Now, once you have uh, this image, Okay, and by the way, this Docker image is a template. Think of this as a template, okay? That can be used to create a container. So this template, okay? So here Docker file is a set of instructions to create a template where this template now you actually pull all the requirements, you know, from the cloud or locally and build an image. And image is just a template, okay? Image says, okay, now I wanna build a container. Now you use a command called uh, Docker uh, space run and then blah, 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 and then it actually creates a container based on the uh, template that exists in the image, okay? Again, Docker image is a template that can be used to create a container or a bunch of containers, okay? You can have many containers that are running, and by the way, each container, you can start, uh, start a container, you can stop a container, okay? So you can start and stop this container, and like I said, you can have many number of these containers from the same image, and you can have them run parallelly. Think of this as using uh, an application or running an application five different times. You know, you can do that on uh, a Windows system right now, right? If you want to run image J or some standard application, it's like, okay, when you double click the icon, oh, it's already running, it's there. So, uh, but you can create a virtual machine and run this application, whatever you want to run on this virtual machine. But then, like I mentioned in the previous tutorial, a virtual machine is pretty bulky. It 
fires up the entire Windows or entire Linux. So in this case, these containers are lightweight compared to virtual machines, and then they can be fired up and then uh, started and stopped you know, on, uh, upon your command. So this, uh, I hope, uh, gives a quick introduction to what Docker file is, Docker registry, uh, you know, and Docker image and a container. Now, in the next video, I'm gonna, uh, now let's uh, actually uh, write a few lines of code to build a Docker image and uh, fire up the containers, okay? So uh, again, if you like these tutorials, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Like I always, always mention in every video, it keeps me very much encouraged to create more content. In fact, I'm recording this video after I saw like 50 people subscribe in the last uh, couple of weeks. I got super excited. I'm like, I gotta give you guys more content, more useful content, so I'm back here recording this uh, tutorial. So anyway, thanks for your support and let's meet again in the next tutorial. Thank you very much, signing off.